Hey guys, it's Keita from At Home with Keita. Welcome back to my channel. Today is another video in the series on how to use inserts from my shop, Fancy Plans. I'll leave a link below just in case you're interested, you're new here, you're not sure what Fancy Plans is all about. I will leave a link below. I have a lot of people all the time asking me how to use certain inserts, so I said I'm gonna make a whole playlist and I'm gonna share with you guys all of the inserts that have worked for me and how I use them in planning. So if you're new here to my channel, I hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video so let's jump on into the next video in this series which is how to use the Instagram planner inserts if you want to see that make sure to stay tuned y'all so I actually transitioned into my Philo Facts. this was my budget planner but now I'm using my Notique planner cover as the budget planner and this is now my business and social media planner and so I'm going to show you this week in terms well it's actually a little bit more than this week because I'll, I'll show you how the inserts are structured um, but this is how I planned so far in June uh, for my Instagram feed I am a Instagram um, person I love Instagram I'm I guess considered an influencer although I don't really like the word um, I do have a YouTube channel I'm on Instagram Facebook and so many uh, social platforms I like to at least have some content planned out and so this is how I planned for the next uh, you could actually plan for a week this is 30 days I believe yeah this is 30 days uh, but how I plan mine is I actually post three times a day so these three would go for one day. So it's completely up to you. So let's pull this out just so we can set it to the side and then I will actually plan one for you so you can see how I would write everything in. So I have my planner here at the top. I have a top tab for Instagram. I'm gonna pull a tracker out for you. These are available in half letter and A5 half sheet and also in Skinny Classic. So you've got a couple of options there. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need, of course, is the insert. I'm going to leave the link below just in case you're interested. And again, I like to mention this on all of my video, there is no pressure to buy inserts from my shop. You can buy them from wherever you want. I'm just showing you how to use the inserts that are available from my shop. Um, so you're gonna need the insert, or if you wanna bullet journal it out, you can do that as well. And then you're gonna need some markers if you're planning on color coding. If you color code your Instagram feed in terms of you like a square box color here, and you know, you kinda like it to look a certain way, you're going to want to pull some markers normally i'll use my tombow markers but in this case i'm going to use my mild liners i'm going to pick them out in a couple of colors most of my feed is rose gold and gray i like neutral colors and i don't actually have a gray here um, i do have a gray i'm just not sure where i put the gray so we'll we'll just do the rose gold color for now and i'm going to show you how to plan it out okay so of course you want to write in the month if you're gonna use this and you're gonna post one a day, which is how some people do it. I like to post three times a day just because I just do, that's just my thing. I like to post um, planner related and lifestyle content. And so this is how Instagram looks, right? So when you're looking at Instagram on your phone or wherever, it's a grid. And that's typically how the grid looks. And so you wanna start at the bottom. So your first photo, as you can see, that says one, two, three you're gonna look at it as columns. Um, so when eventually, whatever you post or write in here at the bottom is gonna end up right here on your feed. So let me show you as an example. So let's say, let's say I planned out my Instagram feed and I actually put, let me zoom you in a little bit, hopefully you can see that. I put this photo here at this spot, all the way at the bottom this photo hopefully you can see that y'all this photo was here 
So eventually, if I write, if I'm, since I'm putting it here at the bottom, I know that this is eventually how the look of it's going to be. And so that's why I like starting here at the bottom, just so I can see in real time how my feet is actually going to look. And so if I put this here and then I put that it's going to be rose gold, I put a little dot or something to indicate that that's what it's going to be. I'm going to show you all of this, of course. So you'll see that this photo actually appeared there, that photo appeared there. So this is just how the structure and how the grid looks on Instagram. So that's why this is a beautiful way of planning it out just so you can see how it's actually going to look at the end of the day. And so um, if you're not familiar with Instagram, that's just a little tidbit for me. I'm not an Instagram pro. I've only been on Instagram for a few years, um, but this is just what works for me. And uh, this is probably one of the most popular inserts in my shop. And then also for me, it's been a bit of a game changer in terms of planning out my feed. So the front of it looks like this. You've got a little spot there for date. If you want to put the date, you don't have to. And then you've got a box there. And then at the top, you see that one, two, and three for you to know that this photo is going to be always on the right, in the middle, and on the end, eventually. That's how it's going to be. I mean, this is just how you kind of want to look at it. And then uh, you've got a place there at the top for date. And then on the back, you've got Instagram shot list. So if you just want to write in some photo ideas, then this is where you would do that. It works out perfectly to just write in some ideas. You've got a place to write in the photo, the caption, the hashtags, and if you posted it or not, you could put the date or just a little check mark. So I use that a lot in just pre-planning. I'll come here first and just write in a whole bunch of ideas, and then I'll come here and I'll actually plan it out. So let's go ahead and get started with planning it out. And I'll share with you how kind of what works for me and how I like to plan out my feed. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my Papermate flare pen and then I'm gonna be using my, again, my mild liner uh, to indicate the spots in here or on my feed that I want to be a specific color. And so this is just gonna be a great visual. So I'm gonna start down here and I always go from, because you wanna kind of put it how it's gonna post. So it's gonna post this photo first and then this one's gonna be to the, in the middle of it and that one's gonna be all the way on the left. So this is how it's gonna look on Instagram you know, as your feed, you know, gets pushed further and further down. So I go from how it posts or how it's gonna end up rather, cause that might be confusing. Um, so basically just fill it in however you want your Instagram to look. When you look on your phone and you see your Instagram feed, it should look exactly like this to put it in simple terms. So at the bottom, I'm gonna do my weekly spread. for business and social media. So I'm gonna write biz. And I could put the date if I want. I'm not gonna put the date only because this is gonna be one day. I sometimes like to come here and I'll do the date this way because I know these three photos are gonna be for that specific date. So this is just also as an example, I'm not gonna use this, I already have it planned out. I'm just kind of trying to show you. So let's say it's the 17th. So I'll put 617 right there. And I know these three photos are going to be posted on the 17th. Now, if you wanted to uh, do it day by day, then that would be one day, second day, third day, and you'd write in the date. And so, um, so that would be my weekly spread for my business and social media planner. And then sometimes I'll put a P at the top so I don't get confused. And then I'll put an L for lifestyle because I like to be planner, lifestyle, planner, lifestyle, planner, lifestyle. Um, so that just works for me to not get confused. So, okay, so that's what I would do and I would do that all the way up just so, again, I don't get confused with what goes there. Okay, and then let's say I wanted to do a lifestyle photo here and let's say I just wanted to do a desk photo. I don't have anything photographed yet, but I want to post something of, on my desk or in my office. So that is where this will come into play because then I just, um, you know, I would have desk photo and then I would have all my caption hashtags and all that stuff. And then if I have a place where I have stored this, because sometimes I'll go on Instagram and, and flag things and I'll, you know, create a, a group of items and I'll go into Instagram and I'll see what I have pinned there and then I'll write a little snapshot about it, where it came from, just so I'll know where to find it when I'm ready to post it and it can give me a little bit of inspiration. Um, so that's where that back comes in real handy. And then I wanna do another planner video. So let's say I'm gonna do um, Fun Quarter Friday, which is a happy planner hashtag. So I'll take a picture of a corner of my spread and then we're coming up here again for a lifestyle photo. So let's say I want to take a picture of my office. And then planner. Maybe I want to take a picture of 
a recipe card. Okay, and then let's say I want to take a picture of something that I'm eating as lifestyle. So, all right, food photo. Okay, so you kind of get the gist of it, right? And um, so we'll just keep filling out a few more of these. Let's say I wanted to post a throwback passion planner spread. So that would be planner and then lifestyle. You see, if you want to make sure that you're planning in the, the order that you want to plan it in, it might be good to just kind of indicate it there. And that way you make sure you have the correct photo in, in the correct spot. And then let's say here, I want to take a picture of my, of me sitting on the couch or something, or the kids or something like that. That would be considered a lifestyle photo. And then how about a faith spread? And you want to do this also based on if you're a YouTuber, what videos you're posting that day, because you want to make sure that you're posting. I mean, if you're like me, I post whatever I post on um, YouTube for that day, whatever I filmed, I post that spread on Instagram. So just be in tune with kind of your schedule as well. I do have a calendar in my business and social media planner. And within the calendar, that's where I plan out my videos at the top there. I do use the subject style layout. So as you can see, I have planned out all of my videos for the week. And so that way I know what I am posting. And so of course you wanna use this in planning for your Instagram feed as well, if it's something that you wanna consider. And I do like to consider that. I do also have a monthly spread. I believe I do somewhere in here. Well, maybe I don't have a monthly spread. Yeah, oh, here we go. So within my monthly spread, although this is old, I would come here and I would plan out all of my videos and then I would transfer that to my weekly spread. And then again, then you'll look at your weekly spread or your monthly spread and you'll use that to pop in you know, your photos based on the videos that you're uploading as well. So that's only if you're an Instagram or, or if you're a YouTuber um, and you wanna make sure that everything is kind of cohesive. Okay, so let's say this is a faith spread. Okay, so you kind of get the gist of what I mean. I don't necessarily feel like I have to fill the whole thing out, especially since I'm not gonna be using it. This is what I would be using. Okay, so next step in the process is, let's say you want your spread color coded. So you wanna make sure that every other photo is rose gold or every other photo has a certain element in it. Then you want to use the mild liner for that or some sort of highlighter for that. Or you'll wanna indicate it somewhere that this is the color that you want to be in that specific photo, whether it be um, a, a like a actual square quote that has that color in the background or if you just want elements of that color to be in the photo. So how I typically do that is I just come here at the bottom and I'll do a little triangle in the corner and that lets me know that that is going to be that specific color. And so as you can see, once you kind of get it all together, it just makes for a great visual. And so you can see how your spread is gonna look in the end. And so again, let's just pretend like this is right here so you can kind of see it all filled in because I don't need to color code this because right now I just tried to photograph my pictures with elements of rose gold and bright colors and marble and white. And so I know whenever I post a picture, it's gonna be cohesive. So I don't necessarily feel the need to have to color code. I did used to do that because I, I like to make sure, like especially further down in my timeline, um, was more so, you know, pop, more pops of rose gold. And there's elements when it's just wonky. It's like this whole period right here was just a free for all. It's like I just did whatever. Um, but there was a time when I really felt really, really good about what I was posting and how things were looking. Um, and I feel really good about that now, but there was like a really, really good time in, within my Instagram where I felt like it was like, you know, there was like a, a, a theme to it, you know what I mean? Um, so I feel good about it now. And um, like right here specifically, this is kind of when I was color coding. So I wanted like rose gold there. And then I wanted, you know, rose gold here, you know, so I tried to plan it out. So this is a great tool to be able to plan out your Instagram, even if you don't color code it, just to kind of know what you're planning on a daily basis. You don't have to try to figure out how to come up with content on the fly. You already have it written down. All you do is go for that specific day. So this would be the 18th. And then this would be the, the 19th. 
and you would say, okay, that day, these are the three photos that I am taking um, pictures of. So you wanna have your photo session and then the, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and post those and then I'm gonna post them in this order. This first, this second, this third. Just so when I look at my um, Instagram, this is where that photo ends up. So these are fantastic. I, I'm obsessed with these. And these are just so helpful when you're planning out um, how to make the most of your Instagram feed, how to make it look pretty. Uh, if, it's, if that is something that is important to you, I would definitely either makeshift this uh, with a piece of paper, because again, you don't have to buy it from my shop. It's just an example of something that you could use if this is something that you feel would be beneficial to you. Um, and so you could write it out if you want and do the same sort of thing. Um, it's completely up to you. But it's just a great tool. And so this is how we'll plan out my Instagram feed uh, so as you can see since I'm not really color coding right now I just indicated the L and the P for lifestyle and planner and now I know once these what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven days are passed this is how my Instagram feed is gonna look if I stick to it and what I typically also like to do is go ahead and check it off as you can see I checked it off at the bottom so that way I knew that I went ahead and posted that um, I didn't post well actually I did post this too and I did post this. And sometimes things are out of order, but just try to stick to it as much as you can and it's gonna be super helpful for you. So that is the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a little bit of inspiration. Again, I'm just trying to cycle through some of these inserts since I've got so much in my shop. And uh, you, know, you guys see a picture of it on my Instagram, but you don't always see how I would plan for it and how I would use use them, you know, and actually write in the plans. So that's what I'm trying to do with this whole series of videos on my YouTube channel. Again, there's a full playlist. This is the third video in the playlist. Hopefully it goes up as number three. I did film two other videos and I'm planning more guys. So stay tuned for more content and uh, check out that playlist if you want to see how to use certain inserts from Fancy Plans. And I'll leave a link below to my shop just in case you kind of want to browse around and see what's available. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I appreciate you joining me for another video. Hopefully you enjoyed it so much. I really do. Uh, comment below. Let me know what you think. If you've been using this, has it been helpful for you? I would love to hear from you. So hopefully you guys will consider subscribing and you'll stop back and catch another video. In which case, I'll see you then.